Hello there everyone, Marla Blavian 13 here off with another tutorial. This time it is with the PCSX2, also known as the PlayStation 2 emulator, which I use all the time for my PS2 gameplay stuff. Okay, first of all you want to go to your downloads thing here. And I usually click this, but I can also click this, but then it will show you up with this here window. Matter of fact, me, I should show you. There we go. Once you click this, it'll send you to here. And then, you want to go to Windows, if you're a Windows person, Mac, if you have a Mac. Like this, you get the idea from there. Alright, so you want to go to there. And download this. Okay, now that it's downloaded, we're going to have to install it now. Okay, just like that. Next. Okay, if you see this here thing, uh, I would just do this. Last time I had AVG, it ends up being a virus on my PC, so yeah. It should be important not to use AVG that much. And just click next. Okay, then you see the path here, which is the default path, and just click install. Okay, and now it is completed. So then you want to go down and you want to go to this and it will give you a first time configuration window which I call it a configuration wizard so you just want to click next again it'll send you to here I I would recommend going to this one here and so on some games, but I do believe that this sound plugin works with most games. Okay, and then this one over here, the CD DVD. This one here is for actual CDs, and this one over here is for ISO files. So we're going to use an ISO file. So we're going to choose this one. Okay, and now for the graphics plugin. This is by default, so I am going to switch it to this one because it's compatible with my graphics card. Alright. Then everything should be fine. Yeah. Good. Okay, you want to go click next. Okay, now here is the BIOS list. I mean, the, man, I keep messing up my tongue. Okay, so you want to open up this folder and it'll give you to this. Luckily, I already have the BIOS, which I will not give links to. Okay, and put them in there. Okay, and click the X button. And then just refresh the list. And there you go. And I'm going to choose this one. Okay, and then click finish. And there you go. Now it's all set up. Now they want to go to CD DVD. Then you want to go to browse. Okay, and then I put things in my games. And it should be this one. Yeah, this is the one I want to test out. Okay, then now that the emulator is selected the game, so next, 
All you gotta do is to go to full or fast, but I usually go with fast. Okay, and here we go. And I'm sorry if you can't hear anything. The program that I'm using to record this video does not do sound. Oh, wait a minute. Did I forget to configure my control? Did I forget to configure my controls again? Okay, just gonna pause this. Okay, let me see here. I just want to configure this thing out real quick. Give me a sec. I am going to configure this. Okay, almost there. Alright. Anything, everything's good, so I want to click apply. And there you go. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot about the start and select buttons. Oh, wait a minute, I want this button to be this button. And I want this button to be that one. There you go. That should work. And click apply, and okay. And now it should work. All right. Uh, this is only a test run. Okay, I'm getting very good FPS. And there you have it. On how to play games on the PCSX2. But just to give you all a heads up, is that there this is a new version of PCSX2 that some games might not be able to be played on this new version so I do recommend playing old versions of the emulator if you want to play some games. Other than that this version of the emulator should work with a lot of games though. And that's all I have to say. And I hope you enjoy watching this tutorial, and I will see you on the next one, where we would do the, the Dolphin Emulator, which is known as the GameCube Emulator. This is Mario Oblivion 13 signing off. Have a nice day.